We have spoken from the beginning about the close relationship between justice and equality. A relationship noted first by Aristotle, the ancient Greek philosopher, and affirmed clearly by Thomas Jefferson in the Declaration of Independence with his claim that all people are created equal. We've talked about some of the ways in which we are thought to be equal or the same and the related rights that we have uh, in relation to those particular ways that we are the same. We have talked about that profound recognition that many of the differences among us, like race and gender, for example, um, do not justify differential treatment as they have often been used to justify differential treatment in the past. But none of this means that all of us should be treated exactly the same all of the time if we are to be treated justly. It is not to say that there are not differences among us that do justify differential treatment in particular contexts. Let's think now uh, about a couple of contexts in which uh, equality um, seems to have a, a complex relationship to what we would consider to be justice within that context. Let's think about your grades in this class. Justice as equality does not mean that all of you should get the same grade, that it would be fair or just if all of you got the same grade. Indeed, I think we would probably regard that as an injustice to those who deserved a, a better grade. Uh, there are, in fact, differences among you that justify different grades. It's not an injustice if those who demonstrate mastery of course material get high grades and those who demonstrate lesser mastery of that material lower grades and those who demonstrate minimal mastery even if they fail. That's not an injustice. In, th in fact, I think we would say that's fair even though it's quite unequal. Yet equality remains relevant. All deserve an equal opportunity to master course material. Even here, that may justify some difference. That may justify greater attention on my part to those of you who are struggling with course material. But all that to give you an equal opportunity uh, to, to master the material and get a good grade. Most significantly, equality remains relevant because it would surely be unjust to give preferential treatment uh, or to discriminate uh, based on race, gender, sexual orientation, whatever major you happen to be, whether you were uh, an athlete or not. Uh, in those respects, uh, your differences are irrelevant. You are equal. You should have the same opportunity uh, to succeed or to fail. Let's also think about the matter of income. Justice and equality may not mean that all of us should get the same income, that it would be just for all of us to have the same income, or that justice requires that all of us have the same income. In a free market economy like ours, we have made the judgment that the market value of one's labor and investments uh, is thought to justify uh, greater uh, or great variations in income. If the job you do has great market value, you're going to make a great income. If it offers very little in the market, then you're going to make less. Now, in having said that, and having said that we accept great variations uh, in wealth or in income, uh, that is not to say that equality remains irrelevant. Again, all deserve an equal opportunity to seek specific jobs, uh, preferential treatment or discrimination uh, when it comes to getting particular jobs or how much one is paid for doing that jobs based on race, gender, sexual orientation, religious beliefs, etc. are thought to be inappropriate. Even more profoundly, some might argue that equality remains relevant in the sense that justice requires a baseline of income and wealth or maybe uh, guaranteed access to some level of food, shelter, or health care. Uh, again, a topic 
to which we will return in the last unit of the course. Finally, let's, let's consider voting rights or the right to vote. Finally, you might say, here's an area in which perfect equality applies. But even here, justice as equality may not mean that all should have the right to vote. We tend to believe that one's age is relevant. If you were under 18, you shouldn't have the right to vote. If you've committed a felony, you've lost your right to vote. And we're debating as to whether those voting rights should be restored once you've paid your penalty. Surely, citizenship is relevant. Only citizens should be allowed to vote. Non-citizens um, uh, are, are prohibited from voting. Still, even here, equality surely remains profoundly relevant. Denial of voting rights based on race, gender, sexual orientation, religious beliefs, income, all are thought to be uh, unjust uh, and a violation of justice as equality. As I think all these examples illustrate, even in those areas where we think perfect equality uh, should not prevail, where differences, uh, differential treatment um, is in fact justified, still our commitment to equality remains profoundly relevant. Just because we tolerate different grades, different incomes, some people voting and other people not voting, none of that means that we are not fully committed to human equality, fully committed to that profound idea of Thomas Jefferson that all human beings are created equal.